Praxis Prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and in this video we're talking about the Day 10 episode of Praxis Prepper Alien Invasion. We're going to talk about some of the discussion points and topics brought up in the episode, and at the very end I'll share with you a sneak peek of what's happening next time on the series. But before any of that, if you haven't seen the Day 10 episode, there's a link somewhere around here. You can click on it and know what we're talking about before we talk about it. Wait a moment. Okay, we'll jump right in, but I want to let you guys know that this week for me has been school vacation week for my boy. Uh, so I'm going to be maybe a little bit more brief than I usually am with this, because... Uh, I'll hold for applause. I know, I'm sorry. Usually I'm a little verbose, but we'll try to get through this so you know, no fires start behind me that I have to address and everything goes uh, nice and smoothly. Um, anyway, so let's jump right in. Uh, first, I wanna thank people who made uh, today's episode even possible. If you're not familiar with the series, the only, we the only reason I'm able to do these kind of upped quality episodes is from the generous support of people just like yourself who have gone to Patreon and for as little as a dollar a month have been supporting the, the, uh, the channel and supporting in particular this Alien Invasion series. And the people that jumped on the last couple of weeks that made us uh, hit our goal and uh, allowed us to have this episode are Matthew Srall, Ragnarok, um, Mike uh, Matiucci, I hope I got your last name right, uh, uh, Angus Clark, Steve Williams Sr., Carl Kiever, Bruno... Fleur? F-L-I-O-R? I'm not sure about how to pronounce your last name, Bruno, but thank you very much. Uh, uh, Benjamin Rog and Lee Sanders. Uh, thank you all so much, and thank you everyone who's been with the series and keeping it going, all these, you know, to get us up to the Day 10 episode. So again, if you want to join them and get access to exclusive content, there's also a lot of sort of uh, opportunities that are available to people who are on the Patreon side. You can go to the link below. Uh, and again, for as little as a dollar a month, you can join that community, help support the channel, help support the series, and also get uh, gain access to all of that exclusive content that's just on the Patreon site. So anyway, what's going on in this episode? Yeah we're kind of reaching out and we're connecting with other people. In a disaster, ham radio is a really common way of doing that. And again, I made a video about this earlier. I hope you, you've seen that, but if not, I'm not a ham expert yet. I'm studying for my license right now. I wanted to put ham radio into this episode because uh, it was kind of a way of connecting my story with um, uh, Prepper Princess's story. Uh, Cause you know, with the grid being down, ha ham radio is kind of the only possible way that we could have uh, connected with each, with each other. So I put it in for that reason, but I'm not an expert on it yet. I'm still studying to get my license and, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry for any mistakes that I made. But the idea of ham radio as a critical uh, tool during uh, disasters is proven out over history time and time again. When the grid goes down, when the networks go down, ham radio operators save a lot of people's that's school vacation week. So they save their butts. They save people's butts uh, because they are able to get critical information, you know, crisscrossing areas that are otherwise destroyed and, uh, and really allow for first responders and other people to get the information that they need in a crisis. So in, the, in terms of a you know, real life crisis, it doesn't involve aliens and, and all that kind of stuff. What is your sense of how you would want to be getting your information? Are you... Uh, proficient in using ham radio. Uh, that is an excellent way of you reaching out and asking questions. Otherwise, you're sort of at the mercy of listening and hearing what's going on on you know, a shortwave radio or something like that. Is that something that you've looked into? Do you have other ways that you've thought of about kind of getting a sense of the, what's going on in your immediate area? Because without the internet, without television, without telephones and all that kind of stuff, you're really limited to what you can see and hear in just your sort of like horizon area. And usually it's kind of good to know more than that. So let me know about your thoughts about that. What would be the way that you would want to connect with people? And the last thing I want to say is thank you very much, Prepper Princess, for uh, joining me in this episode. I was so excited to work with you. Um, I, thank, I just can't say thank you enough. It was really great and uh, really exciting for me. So thank you very much for that. And here's a clip from next week. That's it. Thanks for watching. I bought it for creating a siphon uh, to start the siphon in my goldfish pond uh, in my greenhouse. Uh, that's why I bought it, but right now I'm able to use it to get some water out of here. So I've just got a, a jug here and this hooks up here. This is not the best pump in the world. You gotta, you gotta kind of pump it pretty quickly to get it going. There we go. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.